Hi guys, uh, welcome back. This is section four, adding the socket.io. I recommend you guys to watch uh, sections one to three before watching this section. So in this section, uh, I'm gonna do some cleanup. So in the last video, uh, section three, we added an API endpoint, but when we did, uh, we added the API endpoint to the server.js. So we don't want to do that because the more we add, the server.js is going to get bloated up. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this into a separate file. And later we're going to add the socket.io to both the server side and the client side and uh, making sure everything works. So first, uh, let me uh, go ahead and I uh, create a new folder. So let me call that as routes. And let me create a file called todo.js. So on the routes. So in here, we're going to import um, uh, express and we need the we need mongoose too mongoose and let's so call the router method on the express to create the router so we're gonna add the api endpoints onto the router so router dot post And before that, we need to do a little thing. So on the server.js, so we need to, so whenever we try to post the data, we need to get the data coming from the form, uh, the coming from the body of the post. So we already installed the body parser, but uh, we need to add Two lines of config setup so if you go to the body parser uh, on the npm js so you get all the instructions and all the settings so copy these two lines and put it on the server.js so with that we should be able to get the body form body data so we need that data when we try to create a new uh, to-do. So we are back on the to-do.js routes file on the API. So, and we need to bring in the to-do model. And in here, we had to pass in the description. So with the body parser, now we can get the description via request dot 
body body dot description and we're gonna save that dot save and let's create another get method to get all the to do's so router dot get so in here we're gonna to do dot find so we need to get everything but then And let's export the router module dot exports. And we're gonna bring in the to do routes onto the server dot js. It's on the routes and to do. And let us set up that route. So app dot use any API request which is going to to do use the to do routes file. So that's it. Now we can remove the API which we created previously. Now everything is inside the to do.js on the routes folder. So now the code is cleaner. And the next step we need to add the socket.io. So we need to install a couple of packages. Um, so one for the server side and another one for the UI side. So let me install both. So socket.io so this is for the server side and the other one socket.io dash client and uh, we need to bring these uh, packages onto both uh, server and UI sites so let me first do do it on the server side. So on the server.js, so let me bring the socket.io socket require. So So we need to call the socket.io by passing in the server, the server variable we created in here. And we need to use the IO on the routes file. So let us put it on the global scope or app scope. So let me put it on the app.set. IO is going to be the IO. So with that, we can use the IO variable on the to do. Dot js on the routes folder so that's pretty much it for the uh, setting on the server.js so now let's move on to the uh, to do.js on the routes folder so in here on the post uh, whenever we create a new task we want to emit an event so let me bring in the io so that is from request.app.get. And uh, in here, 
So whenever we save, So we want to uh, emit a new event. So let me give a name, new task, new task added. And we're going to listen for this uh, event on the UI side. On the UI side, we're going to create an event listener and we're going to listen to this event. So that is pretty much it on the server side. Now let's go back to the UI side on the UI side let me go to the to do component dot uh, TS so in here let us bring in the Sagar IO client so import And uh, we already had a method to call the post method, post API, post to the API. So let, let's add another method to get the to do's. Get to do's. So call the get method. Let me remove this, the hardcoded data, and so we'll be getting the to do's. So we are calling the get method that's going to get back all the to do's. So let's get all the to do's and put it on the local variable to do list. And this is going to be an object with a property a description. So let me go to the in here. So we want to display the description. And on the ng on init. So let's call the get to do's method. And, and let's listen to the a new event we created. So on the, let's listen for the new task added event. So whenever that event gets fired, so let's reload the page. So let's call the get to do's again. So that's going to refresh the page. I think that that's pretty much it. Let's try whether things are working. Um, so, so first l let me uh, build the UI part and G build. So that's going to uh, build the Angular app and put the compiled output onto the build uh, folder. So once that is done, we will get all the latest on the build folder. It is still building. So once that is done, we're going to run the server. That is done successfully built. So let me run the app. So we're going to use the nodemon server.js. Oh, there's a spelling mistake. I put a 
rather than require I said requires make uh, localhost 3000 nice we got a page so let me add pain garage so you'll be uh, this page will be ref refreshing automatically so we got the second one so the next test we're going to open another window and call the same localhost 3000 so in here so whenever we add a new task in this window separate window the other window should be getting updated automatically so let's try that if that is working everything is awesome so let me add create YouTube video add that nice it is here it is here I think that is pretty much it I will be uploading the code uh, pretty soon to the github thank you guys for watching this if you guys have any questions please add it to the comments thank you